Good morning. Uh, today I'd like to talk about uh, an exercise that uh, we've been doing for quite some time and it uh, originated from Gary Gray who is the founder of uh, Function and as you may know Gary Gray was somebody who looked at uh, various types of weight bearing exercises that could be done he, and he was the founder of the, the vector training or the star excursion test and um, unfortunately uh, today's young researchers just don't pay enough tribute to the work that he had done and what we do every day in the clinic. He also is the, uh, the uh, inventor for the, the BAPS board. Uh, and one of Gary Gray's uh, exercises was uh, a nose to the wall exercise. And mainly what it is targeting is the soleus muscle. The soleus is very, very much a forgotten muscle when we look at fall prevention as well as helping people ambulate from initial contact to mid stance to push off. I'm gonna give you a, an example of the, a geriatric patient's gait. And when you watch a geriatric patient's gait, they walk with their body in a forward trunk lean. They walk with a four foot type of gait. And when they walk with a four foot type of gait, they do not walk with initial contact to mid stance to push off the way somebody with a normal heel strike gait. So they're at a higher fall risk, number one, because the center of gravity is off. Number two, they never even contract or utilize their soleus function. The soleus muscle is designed, if I go from the side here, when you strike your heel, from heel strike to mid stance right there. So the soleus muscle controls the trunk moving forward. Well, if your gait is already forward, how are you gonna use your soleus? You're just going to be using your big gastroc muscle. Take a look at the soles of some of your older patients' shoes. You'll see that they have very little wear on the heel and a lot of wear on the forefoot because that's where their weight. You can tell this with folks that run actually looking at their footwear. So here is the original exercise and then I'm going to show you some things that we can do and what we do on a daily basis at O'Hallon Rehabilitation, what we call the AIRX series and I'll go over that. So, uh, a nose to the wall would be something very sim simple to do, and sometimes simple is better than complex. You don't need to uh, do things very technical when you look at the mechanics of this. So see how I'm toe-touching on the back? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just let my nose go to the wall, hence the name nose to wall. I'm not going to let my heel come off. If my heel comes off, now I'm in the gastroc form. So I'm just purely using that soleus muscle to control the sway back and forth. Now these muscles are very slow twitch and they're fatigue resistant so it wouldn't be something that with 10 reps would get the job. You got to really do a lot of these and it might be a couple of minutes doing nose to wall numerous times during the day. Toe touch, nose to wall. Some people that are very fall wrist just put their fingertips on there and go back and forth but don't let that heel come up. On the AIRX series, watch for a couple of things with, with the AIRX pad because folks you know, when you watch people get on this thing, the first thing they do is they go into this little high guard position and then they go into what's called lockdown. They go like this and they're hanging by their Tom Cruise 4th of July Y ligaments, right? And then and you think, oh, they got great balance. Wow, look at this guy, he can stand on one leg. But if you bring them in the center, your body is basically three bacon strips, right? From your shoulder to your ear, your ear to your other ear, and your ear to this ear, as well as from your nose to the top of the head, top of the head to the back of the head, back of the head to the dow, which is hump. So if you put yourself in the center of the bacon, right, and stand there, now you're working on your intrinsic, your proprioceptors versus your extrinsics, your psoas, your rectus, or your rectospinae. So put your patients in the center, and then have them just sway back and forth. Don't let the toes come up. Don't let the heels come up. This is a boring exercise, but what it does, pre-gate training, this will set the soleus, this will set the quads, this will set the proprioceptive system to make your gait training much more effective. Change your stance, go into a tandem stance, do the same thing. Don't go into toe off, just work on swaying back and forth. Get them used to swaying behind the talus to the talus and hold and come back, switch feet, eyes open, eyes closed. Make sure that they stand and look forward. What do most geriatric patients do? They look for quarters and dimes on the floor. The eyes go down, chin is buried into the sternum. Keep that up. You may have to work on some thoracic spine mobility and some hip release here to get them in the right position. 
Try those couple of tips out and I hope you enjoy this. Thanks.